Hello friends, in this video we will make the complex tetramine copper 2 sulphate. For this preparation you will need 5 grams of copper 2 sulphate pentahydrate, 5 milliliters of 25% weight by weight ammonia solution and 96% ethyl alcohol. Start by transferring 5 grams of copper 2 sulphate pentahydrate to the 100 milliliter conical flask kept on a magnetic stirrer with a steering bar inside. I use the funnel as I always spill the solid chemicals while transferring them. Add minimum amount of distilled water to dissolve the compound. It might take some time to dissolve. If you are not patient, you can gently warm the solution to dissolve faster. Once everything is dissolved, you will be left with a clear blue solution. Now with constant stirring, add 5 ml of 25% weight by weight ammonia solution using a dropper. Initially when adding the ammonia solution, pale blue colored precipitate of copper hydroxide is formed. But when ammonia becomes in excess, everything clears up and the solution turns deep blue, forming the tetraamine complex. From here, things change a bit. The literature tells us to add about 5 ml of 96% ethyl alcohol to the solution of tetraamine copper sulphate. This would reduce the polarity of the media, causing the complex to crash out of the solution as microcrystalline powdery product. The product you obtain here is relatively pure, which you could merely filter and wash with the ethyl ether and store. But I wanted to get the crystalline product. I have read in certain literature that it forms beautiful deep blue needle shaped crystals. So I decided to try that out. As per the literature, I kept the conical flask containing the suspension of the complex in a water bath and carefully warmed the solution. Care should be taken not to boil the solution. Gentle warming would itself release lot of ammonia fumes. So get ready for that nasty smell. Do it outside or in a fume hood. The literature says everything would dissolve but it didn't seem to work for me. I tried the same experiment 3 times each time with 5 grams of copper sulphate and I failed. After some extra research, I came up with an idea. I haven't got the video footage of that but I'll explain what I did briefly. I just dumped all the suspension that I obtained from 3 sets of experiment into one 250ml conical flask. I then gently warmed the mixture in a water bath. When the temperature reached around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, I added very minimum amount of warm water to it. The water should only have a temperature of around 60 degrees Celsius and it should never be boiling hot. Keep adding water slowly along with constant stirring in the water bath. After a few milliliters of adding water, you will be left with a nice crystal clear blue solution. Now take it out of the water bath and let it cool to room temperature. Then keep it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day I got these beautiful crystals in the flask. It's very difficult to spot the deep blue crystals in the supernatant deep blue solution. Here you can see me messing around with a flashlight trying to show you guys the crystals. I have carefully decanted the solution and now you can appreciate the crystals in the flask. It was then gently scraped out of the flask using a glass rod. You can use a little amount of decanted solution to wash down the crystals from the flask. It was then vacuum filtered and washed with diethyl ether for quick drying. Finally, I put some amount of the crystals into a small glass bottle to take a picture of it and this is what it turned out to be. And I was successful in my third attempt of making the crystals of tetramine copper to sulfate. So that's all in this video. Hope you have all enjoyed my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will be notified regarding my further videos. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me currently so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Thank you.